it's Mandy Ligger and we are down here at the Chester Y at 110 Chester Y Lane. Today we are going to speak with Deborah and special guest Wheeler Baker about their annual auction. So we are here in one of the conference centers at Chester Y and I am here with two wonderful individuals. Um, Mr. Baker, how are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you. And your title at Chester Y? I'm the chairman of the Chester Y Foundation. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm also here with Deborah. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. Great. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And your title at Chester Y? I'm the executive director. Great. So, and today we are here to discuss um, one of the annual events that they have. Um, is This year is their 38th annual dinner auction and we are going to get some information about the auction where it is held how you can come to the auction and support this wonderful um, organization so your auction um, this is the 38th year correct that's that's correct and where is the auction held it's going to be held in the prospect bay um, country club and um, it'll be on march 31st okay which is a friday night which is perfect i think yeah great friday night um, over the years, we've had different venues, and um, we just want to get back in the community more. Things will begin about 6 o'clock, and we've got an uh, open bar, if, if you like that, and then we'll have a silent auction, have dinner, some presentations, auction, and then music from Skinny Leg Pete. To, oh, to, boy. <laughs> for, to climax the evening. It's, it's going to be fun, I'm telling you. Great. And how can someone find out about the auction? Um, where can they get tickets or find information about it? Um, people can send information to Chester Y, and the person to contact is Gina Lancaster. Okay. And her number is 410-827-7048, and she is at extension 301. Perfect. So she's here every day? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Wonderful. So if you are looking for a ticket to the auction, helping support um, donations um, to give to this auction um, for this Chester Y Foundation, um, definitely Gina is the one to contact. Correct. All right. And can you give us a little bit about the auction? Um, what does the funds to the auction go towards? We are always looking for ways to improve the supports and services of people that are receiving supports here at Chester Y. And sometimes that means that we are looking at some smaller minivans with lifts on the back. Um, we're really trying to get people involved in the community much more in smaller groups. And so a minivan, upgrading the um, facilities, whether that's furniture in the homes. We do have nine homes. Um, and or it's looking at ways that we can provide additional supports here to people, you know, whether that's technology, providing some ways for them to communicate in a different way using some of that technology, um, activities that people can participate in during the day. We have people that are going to local farms and helping to plant plants and vegetables, flowers and vegetables to participate in community activities like horseback riding, joining the Y. So whatever funds we get are always given back to the people that we support so they're going to have richer, fuller lives. Very nice, very nice. And Mr. Baker, can you tell us um, some of the events, like you said, that happened in the auction, music and things like that? Um, it's probably one of your favorite events to attend for Chester Y. It is. Great. And um, how many years have you been attending this event? I may have missed one or two, but this is our 38th uh, auction. Nice. So um, I have a, I've not missed any in the last 20 years, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a very special, very, very special evening. Um, bottom line is we're just trying to help people who need some help. Uh, these folks, some of them don't have families to support them. Some of them need a place to live. And like Deborah said, that's, that's where the foundation comes in. A couple years ago, they needed a house. Well, we took care of that. Right. A couple, uh, five or six years ago, maybe seven now, we doubled the size of this center, the foundation, the county, the state. We put all these funds together and made it happen. It wasn't cheap. We got the job done, and they needed the, they needed the room. Right. And like I said in the very beginning, the bottom line is people that need help, we want to help them. So the Some auction don't have is a place to do yeah. it. Well, the auction helps a lot. I mean, we rely on uh, mm -hmm. state funds. Um, County helps some. County's always there, and we really need help. The county's there to help us. But sometimes you run short. You have a capital project that needs some help. You, 
you need to do something, we'll call a meeting, say nine times out of 10, go for it. 2017 is our 50th year that is of correct. operation. <laughs> yes. And it's, it's wonderful to be able to supporting people. Obviously, I haven't been here for 50 years, but we've got some people that have been here an awful long time. And to be able to have 50 years of history and just to be able to watch the changes that have happened in people's lives as a result is very, very, very rewarding and it's a fun thing to watch. Let me, let me piggyback on that. I recall, for some reason I remember, I was in the Air Force at the time, mm -hmm. I think it was, I think it may have been 60, 1965. Bobby Ann Nash, for those that don't know who Bobby Ann is, Nash's plant farm down Route 8, that's Bobby Ann. And she had a son born with problems. Mm -hmm. And I remember the front page of the Bay Times, Chris Rosendale was owned the paper and he was the editor. And he said, and the, the article was, Bobby Ann said, what am I gonna do with my son? There were no facilities. There wasn't anything back in those days. And for those that don't know, now the schools take care of these, these folks up till they're 21. And then, if it's not for us, I don't know where they go. Right. A lot of them come here. But then Dr. Harry Rhodes was superintendent of schools back the, in those days, and we have our house back here uh -huh. named for him. He was quite an energetic and f had a lot of forward thinking. He was a brilliant, brilliant man. But they got together, and uh, then they formed Chester Y Center. And we've been in one, two, this is the third location. And this land that we're sitting on right here was donated by Mr. Thomas Ewing, back in, I don't know, whenever, whenever it was, in, in the 80s, and um, that was my father-in-law. He had Holly's Restaurant, for those of you who okay. remember that. Yeah. And uh, that was mighty generous. So the, the Ewing family, they've been involved right from the very beginning. My brother-in-law, who was uh, worked at the restaurant and ran it, he was very involved in Chester Y. He was, he was the one that instituted, that started the first dinner auction. And... Uh, the rest is history. It's there we well. go. Perfect. So if you are looking for an event to attend for a wonderful organization, the dinner auction is definitely the place to be. Chester Y is a wonderful foundation and an organization that does for adults with disabilities and things where they need a little extra attention or a little extra love or just a place to go for the day. Mm -hmm. um, so for more information, you can contact Gina um, at Chester Y. Again, her number. 410-827-7048. And she's at extension 301. Perfect. And I do want to thank my special guests for being with us today and telling us a little bit about the dinner auction. And we hope to see you at the big event. <laughs>